President Rodrigo Duterte breaks his silence on Monday, June 17 on the sinking of a Filipino fishing boat by a Chinese ship in the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea. Duterte dismisses it as a maritime incident. That is a maritime incident. Gusto papunta yung, uh, papunta yung Navy. You do not send gray ships there. Banggaan lang ng barko yan. Do he also cautions against involving gray ships or the Philippine Navy warning will end up in a nuclear war. And we can never be ready in a nuclear war. Because in a nuclear war, kung bitawan lahat yan, earth will dry up and we will all be destroyed, and that is the end of everything. This is Duterte's first statement on the issue six days after Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana first exposed it on Independence Day, June 12. Malacanang defends Duterte's six-day silence on the sinking of a Philippine boat by a Chinese vessel Monday, June 17. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo says the president was waiting for all the facts, including the investigation of the Chinese government before acting. Philippines' Deputy Permanent Representative to the International Maritime Organization, or IMO, Senin Mangalile, slams the Chinese ships at the IMO's 101st session of the Maritime Safety Committee Friday, June 14. He says, quote, It is the obligation of every responsible member state of the UN and the IMO to implement these conventions and related codes concerning maritime safety and security. Mangalile makes this speech after his boss, Foreign Affairs Secretary Teddy Boy Loxin, rejects seeking international support. He tweeted earlier, quote, Fuck the international community. It can be bought. This is our fight and in the end, ours alone. The IMO is the United Nations Specialized Agency on the Safety and Security of International Shipping. Junel Insigne, the captain of the Philippine boat sunk by a Chinese vessel, backs out of a scheduled meeting with President Rodrigo Duterte set on Monday, June 17 at Malacanang. According to his town mayor Romulo Festin, Insigne was in transit to the palace when he expressed his wish to return home. The mayor says Insigne did not say why he decided to skip the Malacanang meeting. Insigne belies China's claim that the Chinese tried to help them but seven to eight Filipino boats besieged the Chinese vessel. Kami kami lang man ang andun. Kami kami lang. Wala mang ibang bangka doon na ano, kami lang ano doon. Kami lang ano, dahil nung gabi na yon, lubog na nga kami. Kami pa kami pa mag-aatake. Owner of the fishing boat Gem Ver, Felix De La Torre says it's a big loss for his family because it's his source of livelihood and that of his crew. He laments that the country is, in his words, a slave to China. Because of the incident, fishermen in the fishing community of San Jose Occidental Mindoro fear going back to Recto Bank. Protesters remain in control of a major arterial road outside the parliament in Hong Kong Monday, June 17. This is after at least 2 million people marched for hours in tropical heat Sunday, June 16, calling for the resignation of Chief Executive Kerry Lam. Lam has been forced to suspend the controversial extradition bill. Lam's office put out a statement late Sunday admitting shortcomings in how her administration handled the law that, quote, led to a lot of conflict and disputes. The statement also stressed how the administration disappointed and distressed many citizens. Her statement came a day after she announced she would postpone the law indefinitely. Chinese state media remained silent on the issue, with social platforms scrubbed clean of any pictures or mentions of the rally. China's official Xinhua News Agency issued a four-paragraph report on the suspension of the bill noting the quote, strong and different views in society. The report made no mention of Sunday's protests in which crowds choked the streets of the financial hub and called for Lam's resignation. In a related development, Joshua Wong, the poster child of the 2014 Umbrella Movement, walks free Monday, June 17. Wong was jailed for two months on a contempt charge after pleading guilty to obstructing the clearance of a major protest camp back in 2014. Wong vows to join the historic protests in the city. 
The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, announces Sunday, June 16, it has so far secured over 100 million pesos worth of assets linked to the Kappa Community Ministry. This comes after the Court of Appeals issued a freeze order on Kappa Ministry's bank accounts and assets Tuesday, June 4, over what the government describes as the worst investment scam in recent history. SEC says public records showed at least nine luxury cars and sports utility vehicles, a helicopter, a hospital, a school, and other properties were among those registered under the group and its officials. Kappa registered with the SEC as a non-stock and independent religious corporation, unauthorized to undertake business activities unless it secures a secondary license. The SEC says Kappa recruited members to donate a minimum amount of 10,000 pesos in exchange for a 30% monthly return. The commission said the group used an investment program offering impossibly high returns and paid investors using money contributed by other investors. In February 2019, the SEC issued a cease and desist order against Kappa then eventually issued a revocation order in April. The National Telecommunications Commission or NTC orders the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas or KBP to make its members stop airing Filipino rapper Shanti Dope song Amats. The song supposedly violates the broadcaster's code of the Philippines. NTC Commissioner Gamaliel Cordoba made the directive in a June 7 letter to KBP President Herman Basbaño. Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency or PDEA Chief Aaron Aquino earlier wrote to the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board or MTRCB, the Organisasyon ng Pilipinong Mga Awit or OPM and broadcast giant ABS-CBN to stop airing the song and its music video. Aquino said specific lines promote the use of illegal drugs. Shanti Dope's management denies these claims. It says the song isn't about marijuana but the natural high of music. 